Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Let's get warmed up with the hola song. Vámonos, let's go. Hola means hello, hello, hello. Hola means hello, hola amigos. Now for goodbye, what do we say? Good class, say adios. Let's try. Adios means goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Adios means goodbye, adios amigos. Ole, vamonos, let's get started. Now let's start our first with a little bit of conversation so I know you know some Spanish you can say to other people. Are you ready? Let's get going. Vamos nos. Let's go. Can I say hello? What do we say? Hola. Right at the bottom, hola. That's how it looks in Spanish, okay? Goodbye. What do we say? Adios. Goodbye. How are you? We're going to say what? Como esta usted? Put that together. Como esta usted? Try that again. Como esta usted? Muy bien. All right, classe. How about this one? Well, I'm fine. Okay, and you're going to say, classe? Estoy bien. Estoy bien. Excellent. Yes. Easy one, class A. Si. Accent now. Let's go. Si. And it looks like this. Accent there. Si. Okay. Your voice goes up. Easy one. No. And you're going to say simply short and sweet. No. Muy bien. Now, class A. Please, mama. Please, mamacita. Come on. Please. You're going to say what? Por favor. And it looks like this, class A. Por favor. Try it again. Por favor. Please, mommy. Por favor, mamacita. Or oh, please, daddy. Por favor, papito. Hmm? That's right, class A. Por favor. Muy bien. And always say thank you, class A. And we say thank you, class A. We're going to say the word what? Gracias. Let's just say the Spanish going backwards. Are you ready? Let's repeat. All right. First one, class A. Thank you. Gracias. Please. Por favor. Good. No. Nobody gets this wrong. No. Yes. Si. I am fine. I'm well. Estoy bien. Again. Estoy bien. How are you? Como? Está usted? Como está usted? How are you? Mm -hmm. Next one, class A. Goodbye. You know what to say. We're just saying the song. Adios. And also, we're saying the hello, which is going to be what? Hola. Perfecto. Muy bien. Now, let's see. Remember your five vocabulary words about the Mexican vocabulary. That's what was the word for flag? You forgot. Class A. One. Uno. We have one Mexican flag here, Class A. We're going to say one flag. And we said the flag, well, this, this is the flag of Mexico. Class A, repito. Uno bandera de Mexico. Again, uno bandera de Mexico. Perfecto. Now, for number two, we have two Mexican maracas. So, Class A, same word, Class A, dos. The number two, dos maracas. Again, dos maracas. Excelente. Now, for number three, we're going to say, class A, what? Tres. And these are what, they, what you call these. You call these sarapes. Class A, repeat that. Tres sarapes. Tres sarapes. For number four, you're going to say what? Number four is cuatro. Now, these are the flags of the country, Spain, the mother country, from what the Spanish comes from. Class A, repeat Cuatro banderas de España. Ooh, a mouthful, listen. Just try it again. Cuatro. Mm -hmm. Banderas de España. So Mexico was Mexico and Spain is what? España. Muy bien. And number five is going to be five globes. Okay? These are five globes. And the same word for globe is the same word for balloon. Clase Vita. Number five is cinco. Clase cinco. And then we have cinco globos. Cinco globos. All right, we're going to continue on class. We're going to get to 10, okay? Your, your, your goal is going to go to 10 every day till for about another week or two. Then I can take you a little bit further. Now, in Spain, there are a lot of castles. So, therefore, these are castles here, okay? Now, what's the word for number six? Right here at the bottom. Class A, seis. And these are called castillos. All right, six castles, seis castillos. 
All right, muy bien. Now for number seven, everybody knows this one. But first, what's the number for number seven? Ah, siete. Class say number seven is siete. And these are, at the part we have what? The piñata. So it says siete piñatas. Say it again. Siete piñatas. Muy bien. Yeah? Well, I don't like that much, but these are called iguanas. And we have eight of them, class A. The number eight is what? Ocho. Class A, ocho iguanas. Ocho iguanas. Again, iguanas. Ocho iguanas. Bien. Number nine. Number nine. You can do it. Come on. Number nine. You know what this one is, too. And these are called, yeah, sombreros. But we have nine of them, class A. Nueve. Number nine. Nueve. And it's got to repeat them, nueve sombreros. Bueno, bueno. And the last one is an instrument you hear in Mexico all the time, class A. That's right, the guitar. And we have 10 of them, class A. Diez, so class A, diez guitarras. Now, this one you roll the R. There's a double R there, class A. Then you must roll that tongue. Say diez for number 10, diez. And then for guitars, you say, class A, guitarras. Ah, get it rolled on my tongue? Guitarras. It's behind my teeth now. You can't see the tongue that well. Diez guitarras. Excelente. Now, what's our number one to ten? Let's go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Excelente. Now you're ready to find out about and review your season. You're going to review also what month this is, too, and our word of the month, la palabra del mes. Hmm? First of all, you remember now from last classes, the word for autumn, we're in fall or autumn season. These are beginning to fall from the trees right now. And again, they turn really pretty colors. Okay. And we'll do colors next time. Class de Peter, the word for the fall or autumn is class A, el otoño, the autumn, the fall, el otoño. Now I'm going to say something. Las hojas se caen del árbol. I'm saying the leaves are falling from the tree. Mm -hmm. But we, we learned that the word for fall is what? El otoño. We'll get leaves later, class A. Eh? El otoño. Now, what month are we in now? It's almost coming to an end, but they're still, we're still in what month? Correcto. So the B está en octubre. We're still in October, class A. Eh? So now we know the word October is what? Octubre. Octubre. I think next week will be another month, won't it? Whew. Class A. Eh? Octubre, that's your month. Okay? ¿Quién sabe la palabra del mes? Who knows the word of the month? And the word is... You can't say the word pumpkin, but how do we say pumpkin in Spanish? Casi la calabaza. Did you get it? Excellent. Casi, repeat that. La calabaza. La calabaza is the word for pumpkin in Spanish. La calabaza. Now, another word for next week, because October's gone next week. Therefore, we know the word for October. October for it was what? La calabaza. Good. Now, now that you've done that, you've done so well. Now you're ready, class A, to know something. First of all, you know that Jesus loves you, right? Class A, quickly. Tell somebody, Jesus te ama. Jesus te ama. Jesus te ama. Now, the videos were given to you at the very beginning of school, okay? Therefore, you need to continue to do those videos because we're going to be able to say that Lord's Prayer on every level, okay? From the K-5 all the way up, we should be able to say what? El Padre Nuestro. So, therefore, we first want to say, know that Jesus loves you. Class say again, Jesus te ama. Jesus te ama. Now, let's get ready for El Padre Nuestro. We're going to try to do just the, the first two lines right now, okay? Then we'll try next month. We'll work on the next two lines. We have four. Now, class, we're going to first start off with the name of it, the Lord's Prayer. Class, I repeat that. El Padre Nuestro. Okay? Try it again. I'll point to the words for your class. Class, el. The next word is Padre. And this word is a little long. Nuestro. In Spanish, class, the vowel sounds like A, the E, the I, the O, and the U are all heard very clearly, okay, when you pronounce your words, okay? Therefore, I have here el, that's the E sound, padre, a -E, padre. And then I have our for nuestro, and it's called our father, or we call this the Lord's Prayer. Now, this comes from the book of Mateo in the Bible. In la Biblia, que fue en el capítulo, and then the chapter is six. 
So it's Mateo. Let me say the word. Repeat after me. If I say Mateo, that stands for Matthew. If I say Mateo, says, then the verses are nueve hasta trece, from nine to thirteen. Nueve hasta trece. Try it again. Mateo, uh -huh, says, trece, nueve hasta trece. Now here we go. <sighs> Our Father which art in heaven. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Repeat after me. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Then we have what? Hallowed be thy name. Repeat after me. Repeat after me, class A. Santificado. A. E. E. A. Oh, I gave you the vowel sounds first. Santificado. Santificado. Sea. Two vowels together. E A. Sea. Then tu. And last one is what? Nombre. Santificado. Sea tu nombre. From the top. Padre nuestro. Que estás en el cielo. Santificado. Sea tu nombre. Excellent class. I thank you, Heaven. I want you to practice that, okay? And also practice for me, please. If you don't mind, tell somebody, Jesus te ama. Know that Jesus loves them, okay? Muy bien. Now practice your Lord's Prayer, and I have more for you on next week. Adios, class A. Ciao.